think the last time I did a vlog was for my birthday and that's been about a month ago. Yeah, it was a month ago, uh, three weeks ago I posted my last vlog. And when I posted my last video, I was, um, I was planning to, you know, continue, but I actually got pretty sick this week and I got like a fever and a cough and, um, yeah, so I wasn't able to actually do my vlog just because I was under the weather and then I got pretty busy, but I'm back. I literally was... Gonna, I was gonna vlog tomorrow, but I'm like, if I don't vlog right now, I'm not gonna vlog. So, yeah. I miss you guys. I miss vlogging. I did my nails yesterday. I was supposed to vlog this, but I totally forgot to film it. But aren't they cute? I just got ombre. Ombre nails. It's simple and cute. But right now it's 9 a.m. Um, I actually woke up late today. Um, like I said, I'm a little bit under the weather, so it was really hard to get up this morning. But I'm better now. I'm better now. I actually haven't coughed once today. Praise God. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how I set up my prayer spot. So, number one is have your coffee. Also, because I was sick, hold on, let me come over here. You want to find it good and something bad? That's probably the good out of this, is that I was able to back off caffeine. And I remember Wednesday when I started getting sick, I had no caffeine at all. Which made it worse because I was having like withdrawals from the caffeine. And then um, I started getting like a cough. But it was like a dry cough too. Like every time I would cough, it would like, it would hurt, you know? Um, and it's still, I'm, it's still here, but I think I'm just coughing out, coughing out whatever is left okay i'm gonna show you guys how i set up for a prayer so whenever i don't pray at 5 a.m i'm able to like literally blast music which if you can i would i love to blast music when i pray um then let me turn on this light here's my prayer corner uh it's just like this little foldy seat it was a gift for my birthday it's from amazon on my Amazon registry so I have that and then I have my Bible right here and then I have my book light which I need to charge but I can't find that charger but I have my book light but I also have this one which helps and I have my journal because I always write down whenever God speaks to me I brought these out again and I'll link them down below they're called they're the, they're the IMs and yeah they're is just saying who you are in Christ and I'm just in a season where I need to remind myself who I am in Christ and my candle of course with my electric lighter candle is on okay so I turn on my candle and my coffee my journal my Bible I like to have it open got my devotional up here okay about to pray uh, super important is that you do this get your phone get your phone put it on do not disturb put on do not disturb no one will bother you you won't get a call you won't get a text you won't get nothing and then some music receive it I am currently at Seven Leaves. Hi, I see you at 11.90. Thank you. And I got a Vietnamese coffee, a large. I don't know why I got a large, but we'll see. So I don't know if you guys saw, I posted on my community post uh, um, I was under the weather, which I still kind of am. I have like this cough. I don't know what the heck it is. It's like a dry cough. I have like congestion. And it was pretty bad last week. I'm a lot better this week. I probably had like starting since Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, like the past six days, I probably had like a hundred cough drops. <coughs> so, yeah, I've just been kind of going through it lately. But these right here, have you guys ever had these cough drops? These cough drops are freaking fire. They're fire. I'm not going to get it right now because I'm going to drink my coffee. And also, I haven't had a coffee. And <coughs> I vlogged a little bit yesterday. I might have it in this video. Okay, so I was saying that I haven't had coffee in so long. Like an iced coffee. I don't remember the last time I had a nice coffee because I was sick and I actually unintentionally fasted from coffee and I really dropped down my caffeine intake. Even on Sunday, all I had was one cup of coffee, which Sundays I literally probably have like 500 to 600 milligrams of caffeine. So yeah, I guess that was a good thing out of this. I haven't been drinking energy drinks, which is always a good thing and I probably am gonna back off for a minute until until just life gets crazy again I usually drink energy drinks and I started drinking them when I have a lot of work at the church and I have a lot of work in my personal life and like mixed together that's when I start and there is a lot of work at the church right now too but I've been able still to back off from caffeine we actually have a conference coming up um, if you guys know Planet Shakers, Planet Boom, the senior pastor of that church in Australia is coming down here to our church in Whittier. And he's going to preach. It's going to be fire. It's a conference. It's only $25 for three days. And then we also have a Kingdom Builder conference, which is its own event. It's another $25. And Pastor Abba Shaf from South Africa is coming here to preach. So I'm like so excited. Um... I will be serving, but I'm for sure going to sit in for Kingdom Builders, I hope. We'll have to see. But, um, yeah, we have these powerful preachers coming to town, to Whittier, California, to Freedom City Church to come preach. So if you guys can drive down, if you guys even know who I'm talking about, like I'll link their Instagrams right here somewhere. And... um. Pastor Abashoff and Pastor Russell, and then I'll link their church too. They're both senior pastors of really, really big churches. And not just big churches, like they disciple. So I'm super, 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 super excited. And yeah, it's coming up next week, I believe. It's March. Let me see. Calendar. It's March um, 11th, 12th, and 13th. Uh, it, they start at 6 p.m. They start at 6 p.m. at night. Uh, Sunday morning, though, we will have Pastor Russell and Pastor Abashoff preaching um, for regular service. If you, <laughs> if you guys want to come to... <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't stop coughing. If you guys want to come to regular service... <laughs> You're more than welcome to, 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. And then Saturday morning um, is Kingdom Builders. I'm going to link everything down below. I'm going to link the uh, where you can buy tickets and just more information. And uh, make sure you guys put that I sent you to buy those tickets. Yeah, if you guys can make it and come, you guys should definitely come. But I miss you guys. I haven't vlogged in so long and it just feels like it's been forever. And this is fire, by the way. Fire. Fire. I'm going to read you guys today's devotional. This is... <laughs> this is Daily Fire by Richard Bonke. Did I say it? Bonke? I don't know, but my pastor sent this, sent this in all the chats. <laughs> he said... Um, <laughs> he sent this in all the chats in the beginning of the year. That we should be reading this devotional. So... If Bishop says it, I'm going to get it. So, let's see. Okay. February 24th. The promise of power. In Matthew 10 and Luke 9, we have the first limited commissioning 
of the 12 disciples for a pilot mission, <coughs> which took place. <coughs> oh my gosh, am I going to be able to read this? Which took place while Jesus was still on earth. It was a mini miniature project to exemplify the full scale operation that was to follow after empowering of Pentecost. And it explains to us what the power of Pentecost was going to be. And when he had called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of diseases. These 12 Jesus sent out and commanded them saying, do not go into the way of the Gentiles and do not enter a city of the Samaritans but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, Kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the leopards, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely you give. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. Matthew 10, 1, 5 through 8 and 40. Luke 9 gives a similar account of this first commissioning. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Luke 10 recounts the commissioning of 72 others. Then he said to them, The harvest is truly great, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way, behold, I send you out as lambs among wolves. Luke 10, 2-3 then the word reports, then the seventy then the seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, Behold, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Ne nevertheless, do not rejoice in this that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. So long as Jesus was there with them, they had power. But when he left, they had another helper, the pa they had another helper and power source, the Holy Spirit. He is your he is your same power source today. That was fire. Um today's scripture. Rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Luke 10:20. And then it has this daily fire section and it says uh, thank you for giving me the gift of the thank you for giving me the gift of your holy spirit as my continual source of power and then this devotional is pretty awesome because it has like a plan to read the bible in a year and it tells you right here what you should be reading every day and then it has right here mark my word which i love to go through uh, the word and find the scriptures. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, you will surround him as a shield. I receive that. I am the righteousness of God. But as for me, I will But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. I fear you. I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteous in your righteousness because of my enemies make your way straight before me thank you for coming to my devotional time that's one of my devotionals that i really do love i need to turn my ac on because it's hot but um i definitely recommend it i'm gonna link it down below there's a couple things i need to do today and i'm gonna bring you guys along i haven't vlogged in so long and I miss you guys. I miss you guys a lot. And I want to be consistent. Like, honestly, I just feel like I lost the vision for my YouTube channel. And I kind of shared about it already. I think I did in my last video. I lost the vision for my channel a little bit. And I know it helps people. And so, like, that's why I don't want to stop doing it. But sometimes the devil just lies to me. And I fall for his lies. And... You guys are, you guys, you, I know you guys are still there and you guys don't care if I'm gone for a while and you guys will still be there, but it's just like, I get like this like, <laughs> and I'm exposing it just so, you, so like I could bring it open, but 
uh, I just get this lie like, nah, I've already been gone for too long, might as well not do it anymore. Like, I literally get that lie all the time, but I'm not going to stop doing it. I love doing YouTube. I know it's something that God's called me to do, so I'm not going anywhere, but <laughs> um, I, I need to go buy shampoo and do a couple things, so I'm going to bring you guys with me. So let's go. This one? This shampoo made my hair grow super fast. I got two of them because I finished it way faster than the conditioner. They still have conditioner at home. And then I got lashes. These lashes, when you put them on, they look like lash extensions. So these are like everyday ones. Because the ones that I have right now at home are like low-key super dramatic. And these are not that dramatic. And then I got cough drops because I can't stop coughing. That's all I got at Target. Hi guys. So today is monochromatic day for sons and daughters, which I serve at. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. This one color. I choose brown. This is my outfit. I'm not even going to be here. Say hi. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah, so today is Friday and I'm going to church. She's going to daycare and her dad's going to pick her up from daycare. I'm going and my mom's going to, to church and I'm going to daycare. Who's going to pick you up from daycare? Uh, Daddy. Yeah. Daddy Edgar. Daddy Edgar. All right, you ready? Sure. Don't hit me. My car's already on. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. That's the outfit. That's the vibe today. I didn't really finish. I didn't really vlog last night, but I got this yesterday too. And I'm wearing the lashes that I got too um, yesterday. These lashes are like they're called the naked lashes. It doesn't really look like lashes. They look more like extensions. But let's go, Ami. Okay, let's see. Do I still have time for coffee? Barely. I barely, barely, barely have time for coffee. So. I really want Dunkin' Donut coffee today, even though I'm not the biggest fan, but I'll explain why I'm going right now. I'm at Dunkin'. Ooh, look at that matte black or matte gray. Is that black or gray? I can't tell. Matte black. Tesla. Looks pretty. Why I am at Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, so if you guys have been here a while and you guys watched my Arkansas vlogs, um, there was this place called Seven Brews that I was obsessed with. Like, obsessed with. Um, like, I dropped at least like $150 on Seven Brews out there, or $100. I don't know. But, um, there's the vanilla latte from here really reminds me of seven brews and I don't like Dunkin Donuts coffee to be honest like I really don't and I don't really like coming to Dunkin Donuts but um, this vanilla latte reminds me of the what was it called what was it even called I don't know, but Seven Brews are only in Arkansas. If you live in Arkansas, comment down below and let me know what's your favorite Good morning, drink from Seven Brews. Duncan, what can I get started for you today? Hi, can I get um, a medium iced vanilla latte with oat milk? I'm sorry? A medium iced vanilla latte with oat milk. Okay, you have a medium iced latte with vanilla and oat milk and the bacon and avocado toast? Yeah. 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I make them repeat it because the oat milk makes the drink. But yeah, if you live in Arkansas, comment down below your favorite seven brew drink. That was my favorite spot. And I'm like, when are they gonna come over here? Thank you. You too. Get this little scoop right here. I don't want it to fall. Cool. I got my drink. Super excited. Um, I'll do a little taste test on here so you guys can see. What the heck? They put a giant ice that was like blocked right there. In the way, my bad. Okay. Make sure it's all. What the hell is that? That's pretty fire. It reminds me of that drink. What was it called? Now it's killing me. Killing. I need to find out what it was called. Though I'm about to drive though, so I'll see you guys once I get there. So, my camera's gonna die, I need to charge it. But, I just got to the church right now. Fix my hair. I just got to the church right now, it's 10.51, so I have to walk in there. This is so fire. But, um, if you guys wanna order this, medium vanilla ice latte with oat milk. O-A-T, oat milk. I don't do regular milk, but this uh, this avocado toast thing that I ate was pretty fire. So, um, yeah, it was really good. But okay, take whatever I need. Keys. Let's go inside. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I probably won't record in the meeting, but I probably will record tonight. So, let's go. Welcome to the multimedia office. Hey, hey, look, green and brown. No, toast, I figured it out. What's up? It didn't record again. You know why? What? It's because of the app that they're using. So do you look up here or look down here? I look up here. You can see though. I'm supposed to look here. But I always look up here, so it never looks like I'm looking at it. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, golden Golden, golden things in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow golden golden I'm with Alicia hi we are getting sandwiches in uptown provisions provisions I think that's what it's called Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. Really? Hey guys, so me again in my car. I had to drop off Alicia because she has a PID, but um, I wasn't able to. Uh, I'm sorry. I mean, it's a 20, 25 minute wait for the sandwich. 
So this place better be really good because I'm waiting 25 minutes for my sandwich and for Alicia's sandwich. I have to drop it off. I love my outfit today. I don't know if I told you guys that already, but I love it. And I love these pants. They're really cool. I had to get extra small. That's not my size. I'm usually a small or a medium, but I had to get extra small because I'm short and like the length of these pants um, are perfect with these shoes because they have like a giant platform like let me show you guys but yeah i'm gonna go check if my sandwich is ready in my car because we had to remake Alicia's sandwich because apparently there's no tuna and she sold us tuna without um, without realizing that there was no tuna so let me make myself taller that's it I'm gonna try this sandwich this sandwich was like $16 it's turkey and avocado so let's see what the hype is about in this place Have you seen this? She that looks good. Okay, thank you, Jesus, for this food. Bless the hands that made it. Bless the food, Lord. Let it be health to my body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm sorry, this is like a pretty bad. There you go. That should be better. Okay, I don't even know if I could bite this. It's huge. It's just fire. Is this worth the $16? I'm gonna have to go ahead and say yes. I'm, my camera's about to die, so I don't know what I'll be able to film tonight, but I need to charge it. Okay. Shit. Oh. Chips. A little pricey, but it's really good. All right, guys. I'm gonna end it right here. Should I end the vlog here? I might not end the vlog here, but if I do, I am gonna end this clip right here. I am serving tonight for sons and daughters um, in production, so I want to. I want you guys to see uh, what I do at church. So I'm gonna film that. Okay. See you guys in a bit. Boom, that's it. Stop worrying. Shut up. Stop asking questions. Unless you're going to be too, try to get some reactions. Get in some of these Again, I wish I didn't learn like that, but that's the way I love it. Okay, but Jesus doesn't want us to worry. He wants you to help. He wants you to help wherever you go. He wants you to be a light to your generation. It's in the house. You take it back to chapter one. Your job. You shot. It's in God's house. Take it back to chapter one. It's in God's house. Take it back to chapter one. Your job. You shot. It's in God's house. They're like beatboxing like Pastor Tom on the other day. <laughs> Stop, that, that, that's, that, that's it, that, your friends, people, they're, they're not going to help you. Only God can help you. Only the Lord of God is going to help you. You're preparing you as a generation. God's preparing you. God's going to use you to help so many other hurting people. I'm going to use you in a mighty way. Do you mean Cam 1? Cam 1, you're on? This is a preparation. God's preparing you. You need to understand everything, and that's okay. You don't have to understand it. All right, sorry, let's go. Promote the new, uh, the registration's open. So this is last time for you. It's all the way to the class. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, no one's gonna join. <laughs> hey guys, it's now Tuesday, but I just wanted to film an outro for this video. I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Feels really good to be back and really good to be vlogging. Lifestyle Freedom registration is open. Um, I'm gonna link the videos below of what Lifestyle Freedom is, but it's a 12 week discipleship program that changed my life. So I encourage you guys to sign up. But that's gonna be all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you. 
Jesus loves you even more and I'll see you. Bye guys.